Hi guys, people. Uh, right, in this video I want to talk about um, pulse motor gears. Uh, this, is, this video is designed for um, beginners and developers alike. Um, just something that um, I've been looking at that I realised that some people may not have uh, taken into account. Um, it's designed for those that are running a pulse motor that's driving something, um, say, for example, um, driving a generator system. Um, so, gears within gears. Hmm. What is that about? Okay, we're not talking gears as in gearbox on a car. We're not talking um, spurs, pinions, worm drives. We're not talking about that. We're talking about... Um, basically levers. Now there's a guy on Teep Forums, um, I've forgotten his name off the top of my head, sorry, um, that's doing uh, reciprocating piston type pulse motor. Um, and he's got um, uh, a system with a lot of levers in. Right, so what do I mean? Right, let's take a look. Okay, here's something I printed out earlier. I wonder if we can do this. Can you read it? No, you can't. Oh, poo. Oh. oh, well. Right, okay. Let's leave it out. Right. On the left, drive values. On the right, generator or load values. Right. First drive value. Radius of drive rotor. What does that mean? Let's uh, show you on mine. Radius of drive rotor. See my pulse coil? That's my drive rotor. The radius goes from the shaft in the middle to the outside. Right? Simply enough. What else do we have? Number of magnets on drive rotor. Well, that's obvious. Don't need to explain that. Number of drive coils. Don't need to explain that. So, now, I'm going to enter those values. Right. Entered that data. Let's take a look. You can read, well, almost read that anyway. 48 millimetres is my radius. Number of magnets, 4. Number of drive coils, 1. Okay, so what do we have on the generator or load side? Right, radius of generator rotor. Well, that's the same as the dry rotor. Number of magnets on the generator rotor. Number of generator coils. Simple enough. Let's enter those values. Right, okay. So we've entered them. Right. Radius of generator rotor. I've got 130 millimeters. Right, number of magnets on generator rotor at the moment I've got two. Number of generator coils again I've got two. Right. What does all this data mean? Okay, let's um, draw it out, shall we? Right. I hate this camera. It's not my camera. It's me dad's. I borrowed it. So my camera's playing up as well. Right. There's your shaft as you're looking at it from the end. On one side, whoops, oh well, you have your drive rotor. Right. And there's your radius. On this side, we have your generator rotor, or whatever your load is on there. And you have the distance from the shaft to the end of it. Okay. Physics laws, um, how can I say, it's like a seesaw. Right, so from your drive, you've got a force being applied here. Right, and because of the seesaw, right, that translates to um, a load at the end of your generator. So, because of that, you end up with a gear ratio. Hmm. 
gear ratios. Probably a unique way of looking at it, but it's basically sort of um, the way a lever works. Um, I'm struggling to sort of um, describe it. But anyway, if you then divide one by the other, you end up with getting your ratios. So let me do that now. Right, there we go. So first line, you end up with a gear ratio of 2.71, 1 to 2.71 I should say. Then second line, we end up with 1 to 0.5, and then we end up with 1.2 for the third line. Average gear ratio is 1 to 1.74. This is two decimal places. What does that mean? Right. From the drive coil, uh, from the drive um, side, right, it's geared up right, by a factor of 1.74. So, effectively, uh, if we assume um, an arbitrary force, say we're putting um, one newton of force on the drive side we don't know what it is um, so we'll just pick a number at the moment right so say one newton right um, that equates on the generator side right not 1.74 we divide the one newton by 1.74 which is bugger it Hang on. Go get me calculator. Be right back. Right, just worked it out. Right. If we input one newton, right, on the drive side, we end up with 0 0.557 to two decimal places. So we end up losing force, but sodding wasp. But we end up gaining speed. Right? Why do we gain speed? Because the generator rotor is longer than the drive rotor, which means the tip of the generator rotor is spinning a lot faster than the tip.